So today we're going to go through how to do a middle of year assessment with Dibbles. The first thing that you need to do is find the student facing documents on the shared drive. So we will go to the main drive and in the main drive you will see a Dibbles folder and in the Dibbles folder you will see a benchmark folder. Here you will find the student facing documents. So you will click that and we have all grades K through five and fifth grade happens to have an updated version and that's here as well. So while you have this window open, you'll have to open another window and get to the Dibbles page, which is mclass.amplify.com slash assessment. This is what you would be logging into on your iPads. And when you do that, you'll end up on the assessment screen and you'll see that this is the benchmark assessment window. And here they are all completed because the middle of year hasn't opened yet. So when the middle of year benchmark window opens, when I click on a student, this part here will be lit up in the center so I can start to click on these assessments. At this point, when I click on an assessment, I'm going to have to show the student the student facing document. So for that, I will have this on my iPad and this is the part that the student sees. So that was a fourth grade student. I will go to the fourth grade student facing document. And this was the beginning of year story that the student read for us. And I know that it's beginning of year because down at the bottom, it says oral reading fluency grade four beginning. So now when we continue to scroll down, you'll see that this is oral reading fluency, grade four, middle. So on your iPad, this is the story that you will mark up, honesty, and this is the story that the student will need to see on their end. And same goes for end of year, that's found um, as you continue to scroll down. The earlier grades look a little bit different. If I was going to go to um, first grade, there's a few different assessments. For example, there's the letter naming fluency assessment, which is beginning of year. And then they have the nonsense words, beginning of year. I'll show you that there, it says beginning of year. And then we have uh, word reading, so sight words. Again, down at the bottom it says beginning. And then there is the um, oral reading fluency, so they get that as well. And again down at the bottom it says beginning so for first grade kindergarten second grade if you have to do these parts you're going to have to scroll through those first few sheets until you get to the new letter naming fluency it's the same assessment but the letters are out of order from the first one and we know that this is the one for the middle of year because down at the bottom it will say middle on your ipad on your end you'll see uh, let me find a first grade class. I have to sync it. So once I sync, I'm going to be able to get my first grade class um, up and running. And then when I start to do the letter naming fluency, these are the letters that are gonna come up on my iPad. So I need to be sure to show these to the student for the student facing part of it when I share my screen. When it's time for the uh, nonsense words, it's the same samples. And when you scroll down to the nonsense words, it's a different series of words. And I know that I'm in the correct place because when I scroll down, I notice here that it says middle. So this part is really important. When you're ready to do this work with the students, you have to be sure you're logged into the main drive and you have the correct student facing documents and you find them by scrolling down. So once again, these are found in the main drive, Dibbles folder benchmarks, student facing, and here are all the grades.